Hi, Bill here, call sign WX4AR. Today I'm doing a video on the Rockmite 40 QRP transceiver from Small Wonder Labs. I'm not new to kit building, but it's been some time since I built a kit. Uh, I built a Heathkit SB104A back in 1983, some time ago, but uh, I was much younger then and had much better eyesight. Uh, I've been wanting to get back into kit building for some time. So I thought the Rockmite would be a good place to start because it's pretty much an entry-level kit. Uh, this is the way it comes in the mail. Tiny little envelope. Now it took about five, six days to get here. Very nice. And I'm going to show you what comes inside the envelope. Okay. Here is the uh, radio itself. I hope you can uh, see that. Let me put it under some light there. Uh, we'll be taking out the envelope in a moment to show you what is in the envelope. At the time of purchase, I also bought the uh, connectors and uh, control knob package, which is a which is an extra uh, option, but uh, it really completes the radio when it's done. It also comes with a direction sheet, parts list. But from what I've seen online, the best manual for assembly is this one here it's uh put together by uh, a gentleman with the call sign of uh, ne1rd um, i don't recall his name off the top of my mind i'm sorry about that uh, but uh, if you just uh, google that call sign you will uh, find his website and you can download it it is uh goes into much more detail as pictures and I think it's a, a much better manual to use. Okay, here's the circuit board. You can see how small that is compared to, say, a pen. Very small. It uh, is made to fit into an Altoids can. Uh, I will not be using an Altoids can. I'll be using a different enclosure, but that gives you an idea how small it is. All right. This little bag uh, consists of uh, uh, some resistors and some uh, diodes. Uh, this little bag here has uh, some capacitors, uh, some more resistors, and a couple of crystals. And this little bag here has uh, some transistors in it and a couple of ICs. Alright, back to the assembly manual. Uh, there is a parts list, which I will be going through to make sure all parts are included. Uh, the good people of Small Wonder Labs, I understand, are very good at uh, making sure that all parts are in your kit. And if for some reason uh, you, they're not there, contact them right away. And they'll be more than happy to uh, replace what parts you're missing. But hopefully we won't have to do that. Okay, now here's a little trick I've learned. What I do is I take all the components and I put them on a little piece of paper and I label them. That way I know exactly which component it is and where it goes. And I did do the checklist and sure enough I am missing a capacitor. Uh, I would call Small Wonder Labs and get a new one, but you know what? I think I'm just going to run a Radio Shack and pick one up. They're really inexpensive, so I'm not really worried about that. Everything else is here except for that one capacitor, and as I said, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Okay, the first component to install is the uh, is an IC. It's, uh, it's the... Uh, mixer. It is a surface mount device. Very hard to see. Hard for me to focus in on it. It's right there. to give you an idea how small that is. There's the tip of the pen. I'm sorry I can't focus in any better than that. Um, I found this part very, very difficult to install. It must have taken me a good hour to install this. It's very, very hard to do. Uh, everything I've read 
about the uh, bracket mice that it is the hardest component to install so just be prepared for that but uh, I think I have it in and I think it's correct so uh, we'll see what happens from here okay here is the uh, completed board I uh, populated the board with all the components hopefully uh, I'll focus in on that uh, I was right my eyesight is not as good as it once was uh, I did make three errors putting the wrong uh, capacitors in the wrong places but uh, luckily I figured out my uh, mistake fairly quickly and I was able to correct them but uh, there it is uh, uh, one gentleman online said it took him about three hours uh, another gentleman I saw said it, it took an evening <laughs> Well, it took me about six or seven hours to complete this. Again, my eyesight is not as good as it should be. So uh, you may be able to do it uh, much faster. Okay, the next step uh, will be uh, doing a bench test. And uh, hopefully uh, everything will come out fine. But that is it. Okay, well here's the finished product. Uh, I'm just bench testing it right now. I don't have it in the enclosure yet. But uh, I went uh, at uh, my headphones, uh, power supply, or uh, so, I'm sorry, that's the key. Power supply and antenna. And I don't know if you can hear it. But that's coming from the rock port. Uh, in the long run, a fun little kit to build. Uh, it was a lot harder than I expected it to be, but uh, again, I think that's just because of my poor eyesight. Uh, but uh, you know what? I think I'm ready to build another one. So uh, maybe the next one will be a 10 tech. We'll have to uh, wait and see. All right, well, that's it, and uh, I'll uh, make an addition to this video after I put it in the enclosure, which I uh, do have. Let me show that to you. It's going to be in here. I need to drill some holes. I'm going to paint it up, and it's going to go right in there. All right, well, for now, the, that's it. This is Bill, uh, WX4AR. Uh, 73 and uh, good DXing.